Okay, let me put this copyright disclaimer in here. I, I, I'm going to be talking about uh, Eligio Bishop and Nature Boy of Carbon Nation. Now, I haven't been following it, following the case or anything like that, but I was shocked. I was absolutely shocked. I was absolutely shocked. It kind of reminded me of Eileen Warnos. I don't know if y'all know about her, but it reminds me of Eileen Warnos. When she said she was railroaded. When she said she was railroaded. Now, I'm not going to say that, you know, she didn't um, do some of what she did, I'm assuming, because she wanted beer. And, you know, it's it's not funny, but it's just the truth. You know, she wanted beer for her girlfriend. She wanted to buy, uh, I mean, she wanted to have money for her girlfriend. Um, I'm assuming they had to pay rent in that motel every day, daily. So she had to go out and do what she had to do every day. And I think one day she came she came back to the room and she told the girlfriend about what she did. I don't know if, uh, I think her name was Lee. Yeah, Lee. Um, and so I remember her being on that stand and she said, um, no, Lee was Lee was um, Eileen. I can't think of what the girlfriend name was. But anyway, she said she got up on that stand, and and really, you know what gets me about it is she didn't even look at her, and she tried to set her up even before that. She was working with the police. And the phone calls were being recorded. And the whole purpose of it was to get Eileen to confess so that she cut a deal. So she got off altogether, even though she was riding around in the cars that were stolen. I'm assuming there were multiple cars. I don't know how she did it. Uh, but for her to just come home with a car one day, for her to leave walking and come home with a car one day. Um, I mean, I don't know what I don't know what the other one did all day. She maybe she was sitting around waiting until Lee came home. You know, we need money. Maybe she told her that the night before. You know, we need money. You know, I. I want to go out and party with my friends. I mean, it's, I mean, it sounds crazy. Crazy funny. Crazy hilarious. But it's, it's true. I followed that one. No, I didn't follow it. I just like watched a lot of the different things about it. She was so fascinated to me. And I, and I really do believe that, that they were, um, Messing with her head in there. You know, it's like the calm. It's like a it's like a microphone or no, not a microphone, an intercom. You can adjust that stuff. And she said that she uh saw the man when he removed the mirror, and it was like there was a computer behind it, you know, part of the mirror and stuff. Now I don't know if if that was true. Um but she was paranoid in that. I, I really think they I really think she thought that that they were trying to get rid of her. <clears throat> and and really what I found interesting was that she said that the police allowed her to keep doing it, to clean up the streets. I'd never heard anything about it. There were uh, movie deals made on the side. By people that shouldn't be making movie deals. And this was a high profile case, uh, international case. She was the first ever, quote unquote,
female serial killer. This did the same thing the other day. Oh, there you go. She was the first um first quote unquote female serial killer. Now you two not gonna let me say that. I don't know how they do that. Hold on, y'all. I don't know how they do that. Something's really wrong with this. I don't know why I do that. They started doing this the other day. Hold on. Anyway, I may have to uh, end this if I can't get it back going. So let me press mute. Yeah, I need to put this copyright thing in here anyway. Hello, hello, Allison. Hold on. And I, I believe you're a troll, but I'll put this up here anyway. Okay, it's just not working right. So let me go and put this um, copyright disclaimer in here because I'm going to be playing some audio um, and some video footage. So I want to claim copyright disclaimer, fair use for educational purposes, um, commentary, news, research, opinion, um, information, investigation. You know, all, all that different stuff. I'm going to try to fix the mic one last time, though, because I really like my microphone. I really do. So let's try this again. And it did the same thing yesterday, too, or whatever day it was. It did the exact same thing. It's trying to work, but something is off some kind of way. Uh, anyway. Oh, y'all hear that? I heard something. Hello? I wonder if I should turn this thing around. Okay, so anyway, you know, I don't know. Maybe go, maybe go grab you a cup of coffee or something. You know, grab you a cup of mocha. Because this is going to be an extended segment. Because there's a lot that needs to be said. First thing I want to say is, if I want to find out about anything, I don't listen to bloggers. I don't listen to people that share something that is going, that's pointing to a blogger. No. And I don't care where y'all get y'all information from, but I don't need to listen to some third party tell me what to think about whatever it is. I go to the source. And I ain't knocking the people that got to do that for clicks and views. You just won't be getting mine. That's the only difference is, you know, I, you're not, your opinion doesn't mean anything to me. It's your opinion. So I don't need to listen to you to see how I think about something. It don't work like that over here. Maybe that's the blueprint for YouTube or social media. Oh, well, you know. Don't go to the news 
go over here. And all they care about is that they're getting more views than the news. Well, there's things that, I mean, there's something called fake news. There's something called fake news. I'm going to fake you out. Okay, it's working out. I'm going to fake you out. Don't go to the source. Go over here and 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 hear how it how it really went. Well, I imagine uh, people make a living by doing that. But news channels, there's something called ethics, and those people have credentials. They're not up on here giving a show about some tragedy. Oh, you know. Let me point my finger. Welcome to the show. It's all it's all fraud, fraudulent. Like everything that look white ain't white. Some would look white could really be black, but it looks so white. I imagine people tune in. I've never seen anything look that white before. You know, that kind of stuff. And then the energies that it creates, you know, the envy and all of that. Ooh, I'm so much better than you. I have, I don't know, almost a million, whatever it is. Well, put on your show. They can't do that. No, I need to get rid of you. I need to silence you. Well, that tells me that you're intimidated. Highly intimidated. The most intimidating thing I've ever seen. You got people on here like that. I look at the one who sit around and listen to people like that. They're just so intimidated. You know? Y'all, it, it ain't going to work. It just ain't going to work. I'm trying to get to go, but it's just not going to work. But I do have a lot to say. I really do about it. So, I um, have to change some things around. And, and this will be going to, going to TikTok. It's going to be going to TikTok. And I'm going to let YouTube process it and all that. I'm going to let them do, you know. All of their calculations on it and, and do what all they do to it, but it's going to TikTok. Okay, I don't know what all these comments are. Let's see who they're from. Oh, okay, hi. You're seven? Wow. No, we can't do that. That we're not going to do. Okay, and, and really, to be honest with you, you probably shouldn't be listening to this. This is adult uh, adult content. It's not designed for a seven-year-old. So, that's weird. And then you may not even be a seven-year-old. So, I'm just going to have to... Um, I'm just gonna have to block you. It's not designed for a seven year old. Okay, so um, the girl was was uh, Eileen's lesbian lover. And there's no way that she did not know what was going on. She knew it. She reaped all the benefits of it, but yet at the same time, she was the one that was working with the police to try to set her up. She was the one that got on the stand and incriminated her, sent her to the death penalty, okay? Because based on her testimony, it was the final nail in the coffin, okay? You got people like that all over these apps and I just found so many similarities with this Eligio Bishop case because I look at all these black women that were over there. 
I didn't see any white women over there. I saw all black women over there. And I'm sure he didn't put no gun to none of their heads and make them go. From what I understand, they gave up everything that they had to be with somebody they, that they probably did not even know. So their life here meant nothing. They wanted to give up everything and go and take whatever comes along with that. So how is it that he gets life in prison? Now, I'm going to show you all something. I'm going to bring it up. I got to put this copyright disclaimer thing in because I, I didn't do it because I was tied up with that. And some people may not like what you hear, maybe because the shoe fits. If it doesn't fit you, it probably fits somebody that's right beside you or that's part of your crew or, you know, you know, the different things that these black women do. And if I don't say it, ain't nobody else going to say it. I'm going to tell you why I say it, because I don't care how you feel about it. The truth is just the truth. And when you look at this for what it is, ain't no way in the world that man should have got life in prison. Ain't no way. And I'm going to break it all down. And it's ugly. It's ugly. And that ain't the only thing that's ugly. And ugly ain't allowed over here. Now, let me put this um, copyright thing in here. Okay, I'm putting the copyright thing in now, and then I'm going to bring up a visual and an audio, and I'll be giving my commentary based on it. But before I do that, the first thing I'm going to do is bring up an image, and I want people to look at the image that they see there after I put this copyright in. And y'all, this is no... I am not a news reporter. I am not a wannabe, uh, you know, media uh, news anchor or anything like that. I'm not up on here trying to tell nobody. I'm nothing. Um, I'm just like these other people up on here. They have zero credentials. But I'm getting it from the source of where they, they would never want you to go and watch what I'm looking at they want you to watch them tell you what is over there instead of you seeing it for yourself and then i'm assuming to mold you and manipulate you into thinking what they want you to think i'm not being manipulated by anybody on no app nowhere in the world so i'm not like the the rest of you folks and more power to them may they take whatever karma comes along with what they sit around and do to people for years and that's where i am with it okay let me bring up this um this image uh i have the copyright in there let me bring this image up and i think i have it right here here it is right here let me bring this up right quick okay um I have to be very careful about how I do things. 
very, very careful about how I do things. But I'm going to bring up an image, and it's going to tell you everything. It's going to tell you. Well it, well, it tells me everything. But I already knew it. I already knew it. And, and for the record, I'm black. I don't look white. I just want to put that out there. And I'm not up on here trying to, uh, you know, make it seem like I'm all this and that. But at the end of the day, I'm so threatened and intimidated for years that it eats me alive that I can't research somebody that ain't none of my business. So take whatever karma come along with what you sit around and do to whoever it is, but you haven't been able to do it to me, have you? Believe me, if they could, they would. They tied up with folk, with just like what I'm going to show you. Same kind of folks. It don't matter, black, uh, white looking, Male, female, it's all the same. Folk mad because you was raised by parents. Folk mad because you ain't no dope fiend. Folk mad because you ain't no uh, crackhead. Folk mad because you ain't strung out on drugs somewhere. They want you to be, though. You're going to stay mad. I promise you, you will stay angry for the rest of your life. Because evil is as evil does. And believe me, these folks are doing some evil stuff. As they sit in front of a camera and make you make it seem like they're holier than thou. But they not. They're doing the most grudgiest stuff. The reason I know it is because the karma. They can't hide it. But they got to hide their arm. You got to hide your arm now because you can't move it. Run tell that to whoever it is. I don't fear them. Y'all might be scared of some what look white. I'm not. You need a million people to help you with me. And you ain't even got a million yet. If you get a million, you're going to need every million of them. And you still going to need more help. Moment of silence for some truth up in here. These people get beside themselves. You know why? Because they need, and, and they're going to always need and need and need and need and need. And what they need more than anything is my picture. I'm assuming so they can get up, you know, ooh, look how white I look as I take somebody who is black, you know, what look black, and then take their picture and then tell you how, you know, some kind of number as I poke fun at them. Well, you know what? I think it's funny that you can't even show your arm. I think it's funny that you can't even raise your arms and you know who you are. And you know what you've done. And I know what's been done to you. And I didn't have to research it. Universe dropped it in my lap. Oh, you can't, you ain't moved your arm in over four years? Yeah, that would be you. Y'all run back and 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 stroll that over there. Because you ain't nothing but flunkies. And and them the kind of folks what's over there. I'm not. And thank God I ain't never spent a penny over there. 
Devil want every dime you got. The devil want a penny if you drop it out of a hole in your pocket. Man, folk need that. They get enough of them, they'll have a dollar. Let me bring up this picture. Run tell that. Run tell that. Matter of fact, help them with that. Because they're going to need all the help under the sun when it comes to me. I don't fear you. I never feared you. It can get downright ugly. Be glad I don't even speak your name. I mean, you want my name, address, phone number, and social security number, don't you? That's why, that why the universe did what it did to you. That's why you paralyzed. Half of your body is paralyzed. And your grimy ass deserved it. And you know who you are. And I don't feel any kind of way about it. You know what I think? I think justice was served when it came to you. And you ain't the only one either. And all y'all know who you are. Band together. Again, because I'm sure all y'all done been in contact with one another. Right? And look what the universe done did to all of you. All that disgusting stuff that is your reality, and and and, I'm, and 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 you deserved it. Whatever it was, you and yours deserved it, every bit of it. And that's where we are with it. Now, this is going to be chopped and screwed. I'm going to chop and screw my own stuff. Make sure you record this. Serve that up to whoever it is, wherever they at. Because I can move both of my arms. And that's a blessing. I thank God for that. The most simplest thing, I can do it. I can hold a pencil and write with it. I ain't the one. So get some of your trash and garbage to serve that up to you. And then let them at you, by the way. Because my skull ain't cracked. Ain't nobody never broke a bone in my body. Ain't nobody never cracked my skull. Nobody. Man, folk feel some kind of way about that. Well, there's a saying. Karma don't have no menu. You get served what you deserve. And I and I believe that. I believe it. Let me bring up this image. I'm going to have to change this up, though, a little bit. Because it's not in the right thing. Now, I want it to be the whole thing. But no, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, ain't nothing, nobody up on here with no credentials, some blogger, and I don't care how white they look. That relevant that I'm going to rush over to hear what they think about something. To be manipulated and brainwashed. Oh, I'm, I, I mean, you know, I imagine you were white now, ain't you? Ain't you, a, ain't you a crippled white or afflicted white? You can't move. You probably can't move the fingers on your hand. And you deserve it. And you know who you are. Serve that up. Over there. Because I want you to keep doing what you've been doing. Because I'm loving the outcome of it. Because I can raise both of my hands and move every finger on both of them. That's a blessing. You can't even do that. So I'm loving what you've been doing. And I'm loving what's been happening to you. 
And more importantly than that, I am loving what karma has served up on your plate. And as many folk like you, and believe me, they all deserve whatever they got. Whatever it was, it was for them. Now, let me bring up this image. I'm going to hit mute for a second. Bring up this image. I'm going to let the image stay up for a while. People need to look at it. Okay, I got the sound back working. I don't know how long it's going to be working for. I'm going to bring this. See? Hit it. I don't know how long it's going to be working for. But the fact is, it won't be working that long. But then again, it might. All right. So, 30 minutes in, we're going to go ahead and get into the commentary. And this will be uploaded. Uh, it will be chopped and screwed. And it will be made. A series will be made out of it. As is. Nothing will be edited out of this. Except, you know, the little complications that I had with the sound. But as far as uh, any of my commentary, all of it will stay just like it is. Now, let me bring this back up.
I keep leaving the the audio out of this. All right, let's try this again. No, you will not manipulate me into thinking whatever it is that you want me to think. Say that for the other people. Say that for your paying audience, right? Because I'm not one of them. All right, what you see here, what do you see there? What do you see there? Hmm, What is it that you see there? What do you see? Over here, you get to look with your own eyes. And you get to hear what your own ears. I'm just showing you what was on the news. Sex cult leader. Now let's talk about that. Aren't there such thing? Aren't there such things as sex clubs? I would think if people go there, they go there voluntarily. You know why? Probably because they is a freak in some kind of way. They have some kind of fantasy, fantasy some kind of fetish. Some they want to try or they want to find out about it. I mean, I've never been to one. I don't knock anybody that has that has gone or is going. Or and, and and if that's what you want to do, I encourage you to do it. And I'm assuming people have been doing that. And they will continue to do it. So it's not judging people that have decided to do that. The point of it is they it was their decision to do it. Just like it was her decision right there. Because that looked like that red YouTube play thing on that shirt. See how she got that shirt open? And what I noticed is she has a smirk on her face. Right? Kind of like Tasha K, right? I'm on the news. I'm on TV now. Let's back it up. Now, the man said, this is somebody that has been covering this, I'm assuming, for years. I don't know. Is it somebody that was rejected? No, you can't come and be part of this sex cult. You never know what motivates people. Maybe they were rejected. Maybe he didn't want her. It happens. You know, some people carry that around for years, the vengeance that is in people. You'd be surprised what people will do. She's the face of it. And anytime they had them things wrapped around their face like that, you see that black thing right there? That's not her hair. Because they don't want you to see that they don't have hair around around the edge of their face. But they want you to see that, though. See that? I ain't talking about these. I'm talking about that right there. They want you to see that. Another Tasha K. She's strolling down that street, isn't she? But that could be her hair. I don't know if it is or not. I really don't care. It doesn't really matter. See that? Y'all saw that? It throwed everything off. Yeah. She's strutting. Try to strut. She's strutting. She's happy. We're gonna hear what she got to say. If I had to, if I had to uh, guess, she on YouTube. Just like Tasha K on YouTube, and the thing that they do to folks, you know, Wendy Williams and all that, right? Yes, yeah, she's she is really. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't cold that day. 
Glad to get you down there every day. Getting clout off of it, right? But one thing I'll say about her, I mean, at least there was no death. There was no awful tragedy, you know. A baby wasn't decapitated. Like, ooh, this is really going to be good for my show. Some people deserve what they get. I don't think Eligio Bishop did, though. Because these are people that wanted to be part of this. Now, let's hear what, let's hear what she has to say. But the, first of all, let's watch that strut. And who has covered the group online for years. She's smirking. Look at the smirk on her face. Look at the smirk. She might as well be doing cartwheels going down that sidewalk. That's how happy they are. They can't contain themselves. Let me walk out here and check my mail. They, they can't contain themselves. They just that happy. And let's just say she was rejected or nobody responded back or either he cut off contact with her. You know, the emails, he just turned his back and walked away. For whatever reason, she wasn't chosen. For whatever reason. <clears throat> Got to clear my throat on that because it could be a million and one different reasons. It don't take but one, though, do it? It only take one. One rejection, right? A public rejection. Or maybe, you know, I really want to be part of this sex cult. And I can't be in it. So now I'm going to antagonize it and stalk it and harass it. And have something to say about every single word that come out of your mouth or anything what got to do with, with what you have going over there that I won't to be a part of more than anything else in this world. I want to be close to you. You know, all the sets that, that, that we could be having. You know, the orgy that could be a part of that. I mean, no one will ever really know what the real motivation is. And then on top of it, I can build up a channel. I can, you know, Attract people that don't like you, people that are like me who have been rejected, and then the black females, and then the male bashing. You know, it's just, it's all a big scheme, a big ploy. A lot of these people are fake. A lot of them are fraudulent. I like to see them how they really are. And that's what you see there. How they really are strutting, right? Don't have anything else to do. Don't have nowhere else to go. Nowhere else to be. Fatigus was, was there every day, probably. Don't even comb your hair. You want to be there so bad. Right? Probably wore that shirt every, every day. Strutting down the road. Happy. I'm on camera now. I'm Tasha K. Now let's hear what she gotta say. Believes the jury got it right. I believe that it's a just verdict. I believe that um and a lot of people believe what somebody like that believe you know why they believe it because they've been on their youtube channel spitting out that garbage for years and when they feel like they got enough people that think like them then they become the spokesperson for it yeah look at what i a black woman feel about it this is how i really feel about it if you look if you notice when you get up close it seems like she's had some battle scars hasn't she I'm guessing there's whole communities like that. You know, a whole community of black people or 
you know, the black race or black men or black women or, you know, blacks, all these black people that feel a certain way about whatever it is. And they even feel a certain way about their own. This is how they feel about their own. How do you think they feel about you? And then you ain't supposed to feel no kind of way about them. Now, some people will call this a black queen. And she deserve a crown on her head because she's out there, out there strutting down the road, happy, wearing, and then probably is advertising. Because I was curious to know what is this, what does this say on her shirt? I can't make it out. I love myself. So, you know, and you know, I'm going to comment on that. I guess if the man don't love you, what you got? It ain't nobody to love you but yourself, is it? What does that say? I can't make it out. I heart myself and then there's something. I don't know what that say after that. Nasaya or something like that. Nibaya. <clears throat> I don't know if that's her name or what. Probably the name of her channel. But the, I'm trying to see, do they ever say who she is? Right. I believe that it's a just verdict. I believe that um, the courtroom today was very quiet and somber. Following the verdict, Judge Steve. Okay. Now, according to this man, and she's been covering this for years. For years, according to this. Go ahead and mute, mute courtroom C, please. A woman who has covered the group online. A woman. Believes the jury. A woman. And what they say, who's been covering the case for, well, who, who has been covering the group for years, right? Probably knew about it from the inception of it, right? The sex cult. It just, it's just some about that. It really do something to me. You know, the panties that I'm not wearing, that I want him to know about this or whatever. You, like I say, it's a million and one different scenarios. But it all comes down to this strutting on the street, glad, happy that that man going to be locked up for the rest of his life. Be surprised. There's people out there that want that for you. You know why? Because they are prisoners. Life wasn't good to him. Ain't a blessing in sight. Nowhere. No kind of way. That's why they spend years stalking you. Following up behind you. Studying you. Got so much to say about you. They're going to tell you everything else except they copy you. They mimic you. They record you. They keep up with who is over there watching you. They keep up with who you watch. They stalk them. They want your identity. They want your government identity so they can stalk you in your real life, your job, your family, they family. They will stalk your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your kids, your baby mama. They will stalk you to your grave if they don't end up in one first. It's sick. Platforms like this celebrate people like that. They hold them up high. Oh, yeah, look. Look how beautiful I am and my thoughts. And it's the ugliest thing you ever seen. When you see it for what it is. And the whole idea is for you not to see it for what it is because you got so many people. Oh, you know, don't go and look at the news. Go over here. I'm assuming people that 
couldn't stand on their own. They don't matter unless they part of some kind of group or community. And they got to call these different folk names. They got to go back over, you know, their introduction to YouTube, which was to be attached to some community. And then they got, and, and then you should hear the despicable things that they say about people that look just like them. Well, look what they did to somebody who looked just like them. And look who capitalizing on it. It's a million of them out there. And it's a million fools. Who isn't this wonderful? Go over here and watch. No, don't watch the news. Go over here and watch this. And you know why they want you to watch that? Because they don't because they done added them and they and they want to attach themselves to them to whoever have the most views. That's all that that's really what it boiled down to. And it's pitiful. The thing people are, ain't out there like me that see it for what it is. It's pitiful. You can't be all that. Take 10 different people. You don't attach yourself to them in 10 different ways for some kind of come up. Don't at me. Thank you very much. I don't have them kind of needs. I don't need to be dispersed all over the internet as if I'm some kind of God when really all I am is the devil. All I am is pure, unadulterated evil and it flourishes on these platforms. It multiplies. It feel like what a more us it is, what all we ain't going to do to you. You know, if you do this, I'm going to, you know where I am with it? Do it. Go on and do it. Go on and do it. Something got to be wrong with you. If you up on here working yourself till you paralyzed, working yourself till you hospitalized, Trying to find out somebody's identity so you can exploit them. You deserve whatever happened to you. Prior to me ever even hearing about you, you deserved it. Every single violation, you deserved it. And yours. I wouldn't have nobody like that around me. There's people up on here, they is on the phone with people like that. They giving folk like that money. They love folk like that. And number evil. They'll call somebody like this a queen, a black queen, a beautiful black queen. Mute courtroom seat, please. A woman who has covered the group online for years believes the jury got it right. I believe that. Yeah, and I'm in this folks in the world that want to sit around and know what somebody like that believe. They didn't put her name up there. I noticed that. She probably selling them YouTube shirts off the back of the man that she on there celebrating that he is going to prison for the rest of his life. A woman like that was probably rejected from being accepted into it. For whatever reason, I'm not calling her ugly or anything like that. Maybe she just won his type. Look what the ones will do. Look what they'll do to him if they not his type and look what they'll do to him if they are his type. Either way. Life in prison without the possibility of parole. Without it. There ain't people won't sit around and do to you to entertain somebody else, but 
You know what brings me joy? What has really been done to you? They'll accuse things of happening to you that actually did happen in their family. Like the father having sex with the, what? Preschool daughter? Like what? Uh, um, uh, uh, kindergarten? Head start? Something like that. Want to be seen. You on the news, yeah. Say that to me. If you was knew you was going to be on the news, you could have looked a little better than that. But maybe that's how she wanted to look. Dark, gloomy. You know. Vengeance. Revenge. That's what drives them. I'm sure she didn't live around the corner from wherever she, wherever she at. You think them news went and found her and 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 went to her house? No, I, I believe she on her way to the courtroom. And they told her, okay, well, we'll record you walking up, you know. I guess, I don't know how they did it. If I had to guess, they right in front of the courthouse. There ain't a credential in sight. No kind of credential. But, you know, people, no, go, don't go over there. Go over here. Well, you go. And when you leave from over there, you're going to be going somewhere else, attaching to yourself to somebody else. Because that's what you got to do. And you think folk out, ain't out there like me that see that for what it is. It's pitiful. And then they're supposed to be so superior to you. They're not. Even if they look black, even if they look like they is black, they not. Much less if they look white. It don't matter. Either way, they not. That's the truth of the matter. Let me tell you another truth too. Somebody like this is happy. That a black man going to prison for the rest of his life. And I mean, there's people out there, communities out there that feel like, oh, this is a black queen. Well, I guarantee you, Elysio Bishop ain't the first black man that's sentenced to life in prison without parole because of what you see right there on your screen. Or somebody would tie it up with somebody like that. Or somebody would call somebody like that a black queen. Or either, you know, oh, we is a black community of people. And look what they'll do. If you're so black, then, you know, why you got to attach yourself to somebody else to be black? Ain't you already black? Well, no, I'm, I'm just not really a relevant kind of black. I need to, you know, be tied up with Sarnetter. Or, you know, these certain particular names that are getting views or have gotten views. I want to be, this is where I'm going to go. I'm going to go and knock on this door because of some I'm after. Those is locked over here. Matter of fact, I, I need the dead boat this channel. Let me do that. That's the one thing I didn't do was dead boat this channel.
everything is slow, so I'll just make a little talk. But, you know, honestly, nothing surprises me. Nothing surprises me. You know? I don't run up out the behind none of these folks. None of them. Do what it is you do. Go and kiss the next person ass who you want something off of their back some kind of way. You know, ah, 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 all these 10 different folks. And believe me, they after some from all 10 of them. But they claim that, well, you know, we're black, but, you know, I don't have a problem with this demographic of people. Well, you know, they'll tell you any lie. A lie is a manipulation. But then you look and see who they're, who they're standing right beside as they spit all kind of hatred. A lot of these people got hate in their heart. You know why? Because you ain't got to do what they got to do. Can't nobody on this app say, I been running up behind them because I'm after something. If anything, no, I don't want it. I don't want what come along with it. I, you would never throw that up in my face. What you did for me. How you helped me. I never needed you. I don't know you to need you. These folk go around looking for folk because they need them. And it's a endless supply of them. They all over the internet. Certain people I would never watch again. You don't, you don't really realize how much people hate you. But you need to learn. Learn that. When people show you who they are, believe them the first time. Don't make my mistake. Well, no, I'm a, you know. Maybe just a bad day, you know. I'm going to give you another chance. Or, no, it always come right back to worse than it was. Oh, your envy run that deep. Yeah, I know it, do. I'll bring it out of you. Because you ain't got nothing I need. You can't throw nothing up in my face. And I ain't giving nothing away. I don't have anything for you. Go on about your business. They can't do it. You know why? The only thing left is destruction. And that's what motivates them. They'll spend years doing it. In fact, I guess that's the same thing that motivated this woman. I'm going to bring her picture back up there. Let me lock down this channel, though. I have the deadbolt over here. Lock everything down over here. But I don't never think nothing of it. I know it folks out there in the world that's that's pitiful like that. I'm gonna tell you everything else except how pitiful I am. You ain't got to tell me. I can figure it out. This is a pitiful piss pole something. What's up on a virtual app? And the needs that you have, apparently this is 24 hours a day. And then I look at what you are willing to go along with. That says a lot about you. And, ma and I imagine the more folk that like you, that watching you, the more happier you are. You can get a million of them watching you. But I won't never be one of them. You know why? I don't have them kind of needs. It's pitiful. I see the pity in it. That's why a lot of people want to destroy anything what got to do with me. Because I'm going to call it like I see it. And if it's ugly, I'm going to call it ugly. Some folks know they ugly. Don't they look? wake up and look at themselves in the mirror every day? I mean, that alone is enough. For them to work they self until they hospitalized somewhere. Wanting to find out what you look like. You know what? You know why I am with it? Work yourself to death. Work yourself to death. 
I won't lift a finger to stop you. I ain't never lift a finger to stop you. Know what you've been doing, but look what been done to you. Look what you've been reduced to. Think people ain't out there like me that can see that for what it is? It's a disgrace. And then you're supposed to be so superior. You're not. You're pitiful. Heap of folk like that up on these apps. I don't want folk like that watching me. I don't want no pitiful, evil, vindictive, envious folks watching me that ain't never minded to none in their life. All they got to show is the karma that they've been carrying around on their back. Some of them back been broke they've been carrying around for so long before I ever even heard of them. Probably from the minute they could walk. Well, there's a reason for that. And look around you. I guarantee you, if folk around you like that too. You know, you got this whole like, what? what is it? The black community. I don't have to be part of a black community to know I'm black. I was bone black. Well, apparently that ain't enough. You got to be black and you got to be like me. Well, I don't want to be like you. I want to made like you. That's a blessing. The things you do, I would never do it. You got to do it. You know it and I know it. That alone is enough to make people work for years stalking. Harassing, creating accounts, building channels, renaming them, cloning them, recording, screenshotting, mimicking, studying, emulating, duplicating, carbon copying, making a blueprint of you. You running through their veins like blood. And I won't care if you died yesterday. I don't know you to kill. Not only that, you ain't nobody I want to know. I pity the one what uses all they know is you or somebody like you. That would explain why all y'all do what all it is y'all do. Do it over there. You can't do it over here. You're banned from over here. I ain't never needed nobody like that. Y'all don't matter unless you're surrounded with folk like that. A cesspool. The most filth I've ever seen up on the app. All under the all under the disguise of I'm so superior to you. Yeah, there's a lot of evil. I don't care how big that ball get, I can see it for what it is. It's evil either way. And it's evil all the way through it rotten to the coat. So, of course, you deserve whatever it is that happened to you. You know, karma surged you up. What you deserved ain't no menu. There's no menu. Okay, so I got the channel locked down. Let's go back over here to her. And y'all, it's a it's it's a million hoods, okay? It, there's a million of them, and a lot of men is in penitentiaries right now. A lot of men got coke cases. A lot of men been sought up. A lot of men is on probation. A lot of men got coke cases and hearings and jury trials. A lot of them is, is in county and doing hard prison time. A lot of them are locked up for the rest of their life without parole. Now, I'm going to show you why. And this is only one reason why. There's a million of them. I'm just going to show you one. A lot of folks act like they don't want to see it. It's true. It's out there. It's all over here. I mean, some folk want folk like that watching them. 
I don't even care what you think about whatever it is. I don't even care about what happened to you. There's your little red wagon. Roll it down the hill and knock it over. Break a limb. Do that. Now, let me bring this picture back up of this woman who I'm assuming is overjoyed that a black man is locked up for the rest of his life without parole. Well, who going to be next? What black queen going to do this to another black man? I guarantee you it been done before I ever even heard of a YouTube. If I had to get some black men done, died in a penitentiary because of a black queen. And imagine, if black men out here would love them. Oh, I just love you. Well, apparently they ain't, they ain't done that to you yet, have they? Not yet, they haven't. Try to warn people about folk like that. And these different devils, these white looking devils, and you know, the one, one who can't move their fingers or their arm no more, one, one who can't walk in a straight line. The crackheads and heroin addicts and dope fiends. Yeah, you always going to be in your feelings. I ain't that. And I know you want nothing more for me to be that. No, that's what karma served up for you. It didn't serve it up for me. So you always going to feel some kind of way about something as simple as that. No, I'm not a heroin addict. No, I ain't a dope fiend. No, I ain't strung out on crack. Or you. No, ain't nobody never broke a bone in my body. Have you? No, I don't know anybody. Not a real woman. Not a decent mother. That would keep having babies with a man that pedophiled them. And then pedophiled all the children. I don't know a mother that would do that. Now, I imagine that's what devils do. I imagine some black men on here love devils like that. I won't know nothing about nothing like that. Keep y'all cesspool over there where you at. Some of y'all wish I ain't never even heard of you before. I didn't know you were that disgusting, that decrepit, but you are. And you're full of hatred. Don't have anything to do with me. Got everything to do with you. Sound like a personal problem to me. And I don't take on nobody's burdens or problems over here. I leave you right with them. And don't come over here thinking I'm going to stroke your day and make it feel any better for you. No. Life ain't done that to you. The universe ain't done that to you. Don't you expect too much from somebody that don't give a... Well, you get the point. No. Bring this picture back up. Let y'all see it. Get a real good look at it. 